so I wrote I'm a Good Dog um, because it was something that I really had been hoping to do for years. Um, I'd written a previous book called The Dogs Who Found Me, and it dealt in part with my introduction to pit bulls and to dog rescue, and it had a pit bull photographed on the cover of the book, and so many people bought that book and were moved by it because they also have a pit bull that they found, and they were so surprised to see the story that was familiar to them told, because so often we only get the other side of, of what people think of pit bulls. It's an illustrated book that celebrates the pit bull um, with stories from the pit bull breed's history to profiles of contemporary owners. Um, and, you know, one of the great things is that the pit bulls have such a great physical presence, and so the photographs in the book, I think, are really terrific. You know, these are dogs that, that sort of literally worm their way into our lives sometimes and then they stay there even after they're gone. One of the things several people told me when I was doing interviews was that the only negative thing they had to say about the breed was how difficult it is when they grow old and pass away because they leave such a hole in their lives. Um, and so this is a book that celebrates them. We love that baby. Love that dodo. Yep. That's the baby. And look, he thinks that Roger is going to get jealous if he loves on me too much. He does this every single time. He'll love on me and then he immediately goes to Roger as if to say, you're not mad, are ya? A boy. Little Buddha. He's a good boy. <laughs> I know I'm a good boy, Mama. <laughs>